Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk all things photography. Just thought I would jump in here before this little travel vlog to say hi. It's been a couple of months since I uploaded. Helen and I have been moving house. Um, so anyone who follows either of us on social or if you know us in person, you'll know that we lived in a, we had a studio in East London, which was like a live work situation. So Helen did yoga, we did photography, we rented out to other photographers. We did that for about a year and a half. But then we decided enough is enough. Let's get a nice homely home. Sorry for the lack of updates, but I've waited till all that stuff has kind of settled. And here we are. So welcome to this little travel vlog from Israel, Tel Aviv. We went there in February. I kind of wasn't really planning on doing a travel vlog while I was there, but then I kind of started it and did it. Um, so the narrative's a little broken. So I thought I'd just jump in on the iPhone to kind of smooth things over uh, and kind of piece together a little vlog. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you again on the channel soon. I'll hopefully have uploads more regularly with the next one most likely being on my new print portfolio. Um, you can see little teasers of that on my Instagram. All the links are in the description. Thanks guys, I'll see you again soon. Snowy. What's up everyone? Welcome to this little travel vlog. We're in Tel Aviv for four days. Quick little trip here, get out of that horrendous British snow and into some sunshine. I hadn't really planned on doing any sort of travel vlog, but I thought while we're here, might as well. We are in Jaffa right now, which is like the really old part of Tel Aviv, I think. Full of little winding streets, so you get sunshine streaming down in between the buildings. I'm shooting most on my Canon 5D Mark IV, I've just got the 51.2, it's the only lens I took with me, which is maybe a little too narrow for these streets, so I might shoot some on the iPhone. We're going to do Dead Sea tomorrow, Tel Aviv today in the city centre, and then see what else we get up to. I'll try and find lots of vegan restaurants as well, so I will take you guys with me, and I'll see you soon. a little vegan restaurant called Bana. Bana, it was um, amazing. Yeah, chill for a bit and we've come down to the beach to enjoy the sunset. It's, uh, it's very mild. Morning guys, or afternoon, it's the next day. We have just rolled through the Jordan Hills and we are beside the Dead Sea. Can't quite see it yet. Stopped for a little coffee stop. We're with old fogies on the tourist bus. I'm glad they've signed away every five minutes. Yeah, away. yeah. So everyone's got a granny bladder and not just us. <laughs> so the Dead Sea is like the lowest point in the world, right? I think there's a place in Utah um, that's kind of saying that they are as well, but the Dead Sea's getting lower every single year. Yeah. yeah. So you have all around your No, it's alright, thank you for that. <laughs> So from this point, guys, we went along to Masada, which was this old village of about 800 people that King Herod built on the desert in the middle of this massive rock. Just outside Jerusalem, so lots of different religions, the, the Jewish, the Arabs, the Christians, all warring, and King Herod apparently didn't want any part of it, so we went out there. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details, look it up if you're interested. And then we went along to the main attraction, which was the Dead Sea. I don't know if you've ever been in or in a sea that contains, that has a high salt content, helps you float. Very bizarre but really amazing experience. It's kind of like, not like water, it's almost like floating in gel. So I shot some panoramas whilst we were there, stitching together six, seven or eight photos using the panorama uh, feature in Photoshop, which works extremely well if you shoot the pictures as if you're you know, knowing that you're gonna shoot a panorama and stitch together in Photoshop. It, it's not foolproof, but it's brilliant. After the Dead Sea that day, back to the hotel, good night's sleep, and then we went to the Carmel Market the next day. Here's some snaps. So that was the Carmel Market. It was mental. You can get pretty much anything there. All your food and all your clothes and all the other little bits in between. I think Sunday is like, the, like a normal work day here because it was mad busy. Um, and not too many tourists around. I felt like uh, it was myself and like one other guy using a big camera, but um, yeah, 
I feel like I've got some good snaps in there. Really vibrant. We're gonna head to the beach now, wander around there uh, for a couple hours, dip our toes in. We went for coffee and walked along uh, Rothschild and that was it. Thanks for watching this. All the pictures and stuff from the last few days will be in the description below on my Facebook page. So go check it out and go watch Helen's vlog. Uh, go search HMF Yoga. I'm just gonna call it Tel Aviv travel vlog. Vegan travel vlog probably. Yeah. Helen covers a lot of the restaurants and stuff that we went to and what we ate and all things like that. So go check that out. I will link it in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.